Hello everyone, this is Amit Don of AmitDon.com. Today I'll have another episode of unboxing and review video and I'll be opening the Fujifilm X-A7 mirrorless camera which I have it right here. So my last camera was Sony A5100. Uh, I bought it almost uh, three years ago and uh, it takes very good pictures and videos but recently uh, there was kind of a dot mark in the middle of the uh, uh, film whenever you know I take a video or picture and I tried removing this mark. Uh, I'm not sure this is on the kit lens or on the sensor, but I tried like, you know, cleaning them up, but it didn't work. Uh, so this camera, a Sony 5100, is not, uh, you know, uh, going to do the job anymore. For that reason, I bought the Fujifilm X-A7. So the reason I purchased F Fuji, uh, because I wanted to switch from Sony system to a uh, Fuji system. Uh, Fuji takes very good pictures and video and this f f camera has lots of features uh, uh, if you look if you're looking at the price uh, basically it's a value camera because you know it gives so much for such a little price so for that reason I chose to buy this so I'm going to be opening uh, the camera or uh, unbox the camera and then you know I'll uh, do some testing and I'll attach them later on so we're going to watch one video but uh, mainly the video is going to be done two parts so today i'll just do the unboxing and then once i have enough uh, clips and the video samples then i'll attach it to this video so you can have uh, you know uh, a look of uh, how it takes pictures and uh, does uh, videos so the box just came like this and actually there's no additional wrapping on top of this uh, as you can see that this is like you know kind of uh, uh, you can open it easily. I was expecting there's another wrapping or another cover uh, on top of this, but there's nothing. And then uh, the box, uh, the package or the box is very minimal. Uh, there's not many pictures or anything. Even there is, uh, you know, put any picture of the uh, camera. So it just has, you know, XA7. Uh, this comes with the XC15-45mm kit lens. And then uh, this is the dark silver. Uh, which is right here and then if you take a look on the other side of the box there's nothing else but but uh, in the back of the box there's some uh, information uh, which is right here but you know it's just basic information there's not much to say so I'm going to just you know remove uh, everything out of the box and then we'll take a look at what comes with the uh, camera So this is all what we have and it comes with the camera. So this is the kit lens uh, which I'll set it aside and then there's the uh, converter to, because the camera has you know 2.5 audio jack it doesn't have with uh, it doesn't have a 3.5 so you have to use this to convert it to 3.5 although I don't use the you know cam uh, an additional mic with the camera so I'll not be needing this but uh, you know for those who can who wants to use the camera to attach a sound system then or you know a digital recorder then you, can, you have to use this because it doesn't have a 3.5 direct output and then here is we have a USB-C cable I'll set this aside and then here we have the camera and then uh, we have a shoulder strap uh, and the strap actually uh, let's open this one here because usually the generic straps you get with your camera, they're very low quality and usually they're make, made of like, you know, fabric or uh, cheap uh, fabric. But this one actually looks like leather and let me just smell it quite quickly. Uh, definitely it smells like leather and I, I have a feeling this is a leather strap and it doesn't look cheap at all. So Fuji did a you know, good job giving a nice uh, strap. Uh, with the camera which you probably will not find with other manufacturers and then we have uh, a lens guide so this is just you know it tells you different uh, size lens uh, Fuji lenses uh, this is not a camera manual and then here we have a uh, looks like you know product registration uh, to register your product and it could be like you know uh, give you more additional benefits if you register that so I'll just set it aside and then here 
we have uh, just four numbers of uh, Fuji films uh, service stations so it's nothing much and then here we have uh, capture one which is an image editing software for Fujifilm and it tells you here that this is a free download so that's all this is and then we have some like you know specifications guide and some more information about the camera which is right here and it comes in different languages and then here this one looks like uh, the manual or the brochure let's uh, take it out okay so this is just some you know uh, warning or caution uh, about uh, Restoring the camera or you know using the camera so I'll just put it here and looks like they have included a small basic manual Which tells right here that basic manual, but you can you know download the full manual Online, but you know it's a good thing that they at least attached a basic manual Because for someone who doesn't know anything definitely this is going to be helpful and I'll just uh, set it aside and then Let's uh, remove the lens cover. Okay, so this is the uh, kit lens, uh, 15 uh, by 45 mm, and you can see that you know it has both front cover and back cover, which I really like because I remember when I bought my Sony A5100, there's no cover, no nothing. So this is a good thing to protect your camera, which I like it this way. And then you can even you know have a protection in the back of the lens, which is a good feature so we'll just put it aside and then here we have the camera so let me just you know take it out so this is how it looks like uh, without the kit lens attached so it's uh, a very lightweight that's the first thing i'm you know noticing and although this is a cheap camera it would cost uh, somewhere between uh, 900 to 1000 canadian but definitely I don't see it like you know it looks cheap anyway it looks a uh, good uh, you know quality camera and then this is a flip cover and actually uh, this one you know flips many different ways which I'll talk about it later and then this is the front side of the camera so here it is and this is the side and here you have the input for different uh, cables so for now I'll just uh, leave it up to here and then you know once I go through the camera and the setting and everything then I'll talk about uh, the and I'll add some attach video and uh, I'll attach some video and sample pictures uh, what I'm noticing that I don't see any attach a battery so I have a feeling that maybe I have left the battery in here so I'll just quickly you know double check where did the battery go or if it didn't come with any battery it could be I just missed you know when I was opening the box it has to be in here if there's the battery okay so as you can see I just found the battery uh, it was just like in hiding underneath the backup so I'll just put it back and let's quickly look at the battery so this one is NPW126S battery so Fujifilm N NPW126S 1250mAh and definitely I'm gonna have more batteries for this camera uh, but you know we'll talk about that and everything else later I'm going to go through some of the buttons on this camera so it's just a quick overview of you know what you are uh, dealing with so on top of the camera you have the hot shoe here and then you have the scene selection button and then you have uh, this button which is uh, you know uh, you can press it to take pictures and you have another button right here which is to uh, 
start you know video recording and turn off a video recording but uh, this button you can actually reassign to something else from the menu and uh, here is the flash and uh, this is the uh, flash button right here so if you just uh, press it then you know it pulls up the flash and it looks like uh, uh, this way so I'm going to just close this one and then uh, we have here the USB-C button and H here is the HDMI uh, slot uh, or output and then uh, here we have the joystick uh, so this one actually you can use to control uh, going from one menu to another menu or one option when you open the camera and here's the button to press uh, or to go to the menu and then here this is the button to uh, go back uh, on the menu then we have here uh, the drive button uh, which you can use to you know delete uh, files and then here is the play button and then here is the power on and off and then you can control this wheel uh, to change uh, exposure compensation and then this uh, you know button or round wheel has uh, you can use this uh, you can use this one to control some of the features too now i'll just quickly talk about the main selection button so if you take a look at it here is the uh, sr plus mode which is the you know auto advanced scene selection or scene recognition mode uh, so this is the main mode to change or to uh, take pictures automatically so under this mode uh, the camera just you know takes uh, best pictures recognizing uh, different types of scenes and then it, you can have access to the hdr uh, photography under this mode and this is this one is here the program mode p which is right here and program mode allows you to you know uh, here camera chooses a shutter speed and uh, aperture but it will give you access to more uh, film simulation uh, but no scene detection so this mode p doesn't detect any scene uh, but it has more simulations uh, option and then you can have access to white balance for a variety of light conditions uh, and then uh, these are self-explanatory like you know uh, these are shutter uh, is, is for uh, shutter priority a is for aperture and this is full manual and this is like a different type of modes uh, which is like you know panoramic and night mode and uh, other modes now adv is the advanced filter mode which will give you a uh, more uh, option to or choose uh, more uh, effects such as toy effects more uh, color filters uh, i believe there are like 19 filters altogether and then sp mode which is right here is the uh, scene position for example light trail portraits uh, landscape night mode so you can access this from going to sp modes too so these are the basic uh, you know buttons on top of the camera and uh, I'll attach some uh, you know video and uh, pictures I have taken with this camera uh, so you can take a look but what I noticed that you know uh, this is my first uh, Fujifilm uh, camera so I have to learn lots of options and features I'm still not getting uh, the picture quality I'm expecting from Fuji but I have a feeling that you know I have to just learn the menu system and everything uh, further so I wouldn't blame the camera for that but once you have uh, like you know uh, master everything so definitely this is going to uh, produce a very good quality photos uh, the picture of uh, the, or the video quality is pretty good uh, I don't think I need to do anything for the video quality it's just giving me excellent video quality but the picture quality I'm still not 100% satisfied so I'm just like you know going through different options different settings and in the future uh, if I uh, like you know have more tips on that definitely I'll do more videos on that so take a look at the pictures and the videos and you can see by yourself uh, although you know i'm not 100 percent happy with the picture quality but the pictures are coming really good uh, very uh, nice you know uh, color rendering and everything so definitely i'm still happy with the quality of the pictures and overall uh, i'm happy with everything this is not a paid or affiliated review i purchased this with my own money and i'm going to be using this camera from now on to you know shoot lots of videos and for uh, traveling because this is a very travel friendly camera uh, because of its size and it's uh, you know uh, lightweight so 
continue watching the video and pictures thank you for watching uh, forget about subscribing this channel forget about liking this video there will be more videos coming up so i'll see you shortly thank you